Hey guys, it's Coach Coker and I teach PE at Lawson Elementary. Today, we're gonna to learn about our heart rate, how to take our pulse, how to calculate our heart rate, and then we're gonna compare our heart rate at rest and then after we exercise. Do you predict that there'll be any difference between our resting heart rate and then our heart rate after we exercise? What do you think? To find your pulse, you will need to take two fingers and place them on the side of your neck. Place them right next to your windpipe. This is where your carotid artery is located and where you can feel your pulse. Little ones might need an adult's help to locate their pulse. Another place to find your pulse is located on the thumb side or radial side of your wrist. Place two fingers in that spot and try to find your pulse. Now that you have found your pulse, it is time to calculate how many times your heart beats in one minute. I would set a timer on your phone or on your Chromebook or watch a clock and count how many times you feel your heart beat in one minute. Do this before you do any kind of exercise. In fact, I would recommend doing it while sitting down. The biggest kid, Ashley's heart rate, was 64 beats per minute. Now it's time to get some exercise. You can do jumping jacks, squats, run in place, or just be crazy if you want to, but do it for one minute straight. After your minute of exercise is up, find your pulse again and count how many times your heart beats in one minute. Now that you have your heart rate before you exercise and your heart rate after you exercise, let's compare the two. Is there a difference? Are they the same? Is one higher or is one lower? Why do you think that is? Right, your heart does beat faster after you exercise. And that's so that your blood can transport needed materials to your muscles and other working parts of your body. You see, your blood carries red blood cells and red blood cells are just like trucks or school buses in this case. And they transport things. They transport needed things like oxygen, okay? So once they take that to your body, they deliver the oxygen, then they pick up the carbon dioxide and other waste products and take it back to your heart, which then gets carried to your lungs and you breathe it out. So your heart beats faster to pump more blood throughout your body to deliver those needed nutrients and to carry away the waste products. That's why your heart beats faster when you exercise. 